I'm uh, Dr. Raul Marquez. I'm an orthopedic surgeon. I've been in practice for uh, almost 36 years. I'm the founder um, of uh, Cornerstone uh, Regional Hospital, where we are standing as we speak. And uh, I have a special interest in uh, joint replacements and uh, sports medicine. Well, the students have great resources in, in this community. Uh, for that, I mean they can utilize or the school utilize the entire system. McAllen Medical Center, Edinburgh Regional Medical Center, Cornerstone, and also the psychiatry uh, hospital. So they have at their hands, at their disposition, uh, great uh, 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 facilities. And at the same time, I think great teachers because Everybody who is in the staff for St. James University, um, I know them personally, and I think is their passion, is like it's my passion, is teaching. It's part of the, uh, what I, I love to do. The students that pass on my rotation, the typical day, because I'm an orthopedic surgeon, I'm a surgeon, so as you know, we love to be in the operating room, so they spend uh, an average of about three days in the operating room and uh, the other two days in the office. But because I have other doctors, uh, like uh, Dr. Romanelli, also they exchange. So basically they have a, the full experience uh, of orthopedic medicine and seeing the latest things on orthopedic surgery. The type of cases that I handle here mostly are the robotic uh, type of uh, joint replacements as well as uh, sports medicine. Uh, we see uh, general orthopedics as well, which is the basic uh, orthopedic knowledge uh, in the office. We see from sprains uh, all the way to joint uh, replacements. Uh, I specialize on, on uh, robotic joint replacements, which is uh, part of my passion and also uh, something that I always you know, wanted to, to do and I think that would be very, very beneficial for, for the students because they get to see uh, cutting edge uh, technology and at the same time they get the basic uh, orthopedic knowledge that they need as they are rotating in, uh, in my office. The students that uh, are they prefer to uh, 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 initiate a surgical um, uh, specialty uh, basically uh, very well uh, uh, positioned in this rotation because uh, they get to see the coordination of, uh, of uh, uh, the technology, but the principal advice is not as much as seeing the details on the surgery, but uh, paying attention to how her mentor or his mentor uh, acts. The, the main advice I, I give them is that they need to uh, publish uh, uh, papers on the related specialty that they, they love. Uh, for example, in obstetrics, gynecology, or orthopedics, or whatever the specialty they prefer it's very important for them that, to have the experience because now all the boards and uh, the selected and the matching program, that's one of the things they, they uh, pay a lot of attention if they are familiar with the specialty. Know that they know it at depth, that's why, they, that's why they go into the specialty to learn, but uh, at least have the familiarity uh, with, with the specialty. So publish is very good, volunteering is also Excellent. The advantage of rotating in this type of facilities is two things. Uh, because we just started also uh, the, the program for the uh, University of Texas uh, Rio Grande Valley. So it's a new school of medicine. So it's very competitive. Uh, at the same time, they will have the ability to, uh, uh, to relate to the other students and I particularly have stu from students to all the way to fellows, and fellows are the uh, person who finished, uh, in my case, orthopedic surgery, and so they all love to teach. That is part of the 
part of the culture. Uh, the community is very friendly, is uh, hungry for having uh, uh, more students. So the difference between this community and the rest of the community is that they're already saturated, for lack of better words, uh, with the students is that they are going to be allowed to see more and also to do more. And at the end of the day, they will have a much better experience. The robotic surgery basically is, is uh, you are performing the same surgery. The robotic surgery, uh, the only thing it is, uh, or it's giving me is to be more precise. If in orthopedics you miss two to three degrees from one way to another, I'm talking about alignment. Um, if you miss more than three degrees, then whatever you implant in is gonna wear up real quick, 10 times faster. So uh, using uh, robotic surgery on in orthopedics, it gives you a really, really precise uh, uh, way of implant, uh, whatever you're gonna implant, a total hip or a total knee. Uh, and also it's important to uh, let people know that you know, most of the surgeons say, well, why don't you use all that if it takes a little longer time, it's more expensive. Uh, and uh, my answer has been, and it's been proof, that uh, you, the human eye cannot detect, cannot detect more than three degrees. If you put it more than three degrees, it's gonna wear out. So if you use computers, like now, we all use computers, uh, you can detect that and put the prosthesis in a best alignment. So. At the end of the day, it's of benefit of the patient, and that's what we're here for.